Well, after sitting dormant for five seasons and having a rain out the previous week, this past weekend, Jennerstown was able to have their reopening. So let's take a look at some of Saturday night's highlights from Jennerstown Speedway. The Hobby Stocks would take to the track for the first feature event of the evening. Matt Welch, number 98, and Eugene the Hillbilly Zerfoss in the Black 23 comprise the front row. Paul Koffler Jr. in the 48 dives low through turns one and two in an effort to take the lead from Welch. Aaron Van Fleet in the orange and white 95 takes the fourth spot from the 33 of Cal Komarinsky as they come down to complete the first lap. Zerfoss would work under Koffler to regain second place as they go through one and two. On lap two, Dallas Welch, the father of Matt Welch, the leader, and making his first career start, brings out the yellow flag with this crash. Matt Welch pulls away on the restart. Koffler gets a good run to the outside of Zerfoss through the turns to retake second place. Van Fleet rides in fourth, but the black three is Steve Settle holding off Komarinsky for fifth. Koffler gradually closed on Welch before making this move on lap nine of the 20 lap race. Welch would stay virtually even with Koffler, who has two championships on dirt. Koffler edges the 98 at the line, then clears Welch going through one and two. A little over a lap later, Van Fleet dives under Zerfoss. Although there is contact, both drivers maintain control, but Van Fleet loses fourth place to settle. And Paul Koffler Jr. would go unchallenged the rest of the way to claim the checkers over Matt Welch, Zerfoss, Settle, and Van Fleet. The 19 of Cody Quirk started on the pool for the 40 lap late model feature, but it would be Matt Sever in the black 83 who would move to the point position going through the first turns. A lap later, local favorite Barry Audi in the 75 would take second away from Quirk. Although Quark runs side by side with Audi down the backstretch, Audi clears him by turn three. Audi would ride on Sever's back bumper through most of the first half of the race. David Russell would gain on the duo to make it a three car breakaway from the pack. On lap 19, Russell works to the inside of Audi to move into second place. On lap 22, Russell makes his move to take the lead away from Sever. Through turn two, Russell inches towards the point. He is then able to pull even down the back stretch. Sever is still able to hang to the outside of the 93 machine going through three and four, but Russell clears him by the exit of turn four. Russell began to pull away from Sever and Audi, and Jamie Beck joined the mix before she slowed with mechanical problems. David Russell would keep Sever and Audi at bay to pick up the late model victory in his first trip to Jennerstown Speedway. Dave, congratulations on the win. It seemed like you settled in behind Audi and Sever there, and then when it was time to go, you pushed the button and went. Well, I, I was. we did have a great car, but I think if the 75 car got out front, it would have been tough to beat. I kind of was able to get by him because of the because of the 83 car, I believe it was. He was kind of holding him up a little bit, and it kind of opened the door for myself to get by the 75, but he was pretty strong. Now, this is your first trip here. You've never seen a track before. What do you think? Never seen it before, and i got to tell you, it's an awesome facility. It's so smooth. I, I, I was totally floored. At, you know, this track hasn't been raced on in a few years, how nice it is. It is great. Now, you make the trip from about the Buffalo area. Why make the trip so far come down here to Jennerstown? Well, one of the reasons is uh, they kind of, Lake Erie used to run, it was like 90 miles away from us. There's no local tracks in Buffalo supporting late models anymore, so we got to go who's supporting late models, and Jennerstown, you know, they are, they're putting their neck out with us, and uh, we're going to support them. Where else can we see your race in this season? Um, we're going to do some CRA races, some pass races, clear field, and uh, I'll definitely come back here quite a few times. Uh, I got to thank Center for Plastic Surgery in Williamsville, New York, Gordon Racing Engines, How, Chaz, thanks a lot. Um, Race 101 in North Carolina, Tony does a fantastic job with our shocks and some setup stuff. And uh, that's pretty much all. And the crew, most important, the crew. Can't do it without the crew. Russell, Sever, Audi, Quark, and Beck make up the top five in the late model feature.
Well, as you can see, the car count was down and there weren't that many fans in the stands. I do believe rain had something to do with that. We're hoping that the numbers increase as the season goes on. Now, we will have more highlights from Jennerstown Speedway later on in the show. But coming up next, we will have some Friday night racing action from Bedford Speedway, including the URC Sprints. Raceway 2014. For tickets, call 1-800-RACEWAY or visit PoconoRaceway.com.